Check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you feel like a... Sid? I... I... I don't... I don't know. What's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider Gaim DX Matsubokuri and Karumi Lock Seeds with the bonus Sid Lock Seed. So here we are, and there they are, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is, you got a cool picture there of Kamen Rider Knuckle, you got the Lock Seed, faceplate, all that good stuff. And on the reverse side, you have Kamen Rider Kurokage! With his lock seed faceplate that is included. There you have Kurokage and Knuckle. There you have Knuckle, Kurokage. On the bottom, a bunch of stuff that I can never read inside Pac Man! And that's basically it for that. And the exclusive bonus said lock seed. It's just a black and white photo of the said lock seed. And this box is dusty. I should have dusted this off before I did this. Wow. <laughs> this said lock seed. This black and white image right there. That's seed lock seed. Seed lock seed. Again, stuff I can't read. Not for sale. I can read that. Even though a lot of people are selling it. But uh, yeah, again, a bunch of stuff I can't read inside Pac Man again. And that's basically it for that. So there you go. So first thing we'll do is we'll start off with the bonus uh, Sid Lock Seed. Now apparently the way this worked was if you ordered the Dorian and Dungaree set along with this set, you got this Lock Seed as a free bonus. I believe that's how, how it worked. So I did. So I did. <laughs> and um, yeah, basically this is the Lock Seed that Sid was always you know fiddling around with as he was wheeling and dealing Lock Seeds. And, um, this lock seed ended up doing not really much of anything, um, which is unfortunate because, uh, early on, um, spoilers for those who haven't watched the show yet, but, um, uh, early on, uh, I, I thought that Sid was going to be the main villain of the show, and I thought that this lock seed was going to do some crazy stuff and make him super powerful, and it ended up not doing anything, really. He put it in the Sonic Arrow once... And uh, was able to control two unmanned um, Suica, Suica Arms robots. And that's the only time this Loxie was ever actually used on the show. So, disappointing because I expected so much more out of this. <laughs> because there was so much mystery. Like, what does it do? Oh my god. And, yeah, not really anything. But, here is the Sid Loxie. With the big S there. Done in nice Bandai silver. And in lice, lots of nice uh, mold detail there. Got the gold rim. There you go, and use a sad Pac-Man! There's going to be a lot of sad Pac-Man in this, in this review. But yeah, very nicely done, though. Again, you got that Bandai Silver all around. It's very nice looking lock seed. And you get your on-off switch right here. Turn it on, and you get... This little techy electronics going off. And uh, when you push the button on the back, you get a bunch of phrases. I have translations for three of the phrases. I think there are five phrases in here. Um... Finding translations for these toys are next to impossible! If somebody could please tell me translations for these toys, like the Forza toys and everything else that actually has sayings in it. Please, please let me know where I can find translations for this stuff. I, I really want to know. <laughs> if anybody can help me, please. Help me find translations for these Japanese toys. Um, like the lock seeds, uh, the, the, the lock seed set with um, all the actors' voices on them. It's a bunch of voice clips. I don't know what they say. Somebody please help me. I want to know what these toys say because I like them. <laughs> but I have translations for three of the phrases. That's all I could find. So, uh, and again, this might not be the exact translation, but again, it's all I could find. So, push the button and we'll get... Okay, that's one of the phrases I did not get a translation for. So, again, if anybody knows what that said, let me know. That's the other one I didn't get a translation for. <laughs> so, again, if you know what that said, let me know. That's oi oi, which is basically hey now or hey hey. 
And that apparently is good, good. It didn't expect things to get this interesting. And that apparently is my, my, I sure do dislike difficult children. Those are all the translations I could find. So, <laughs> if anybody has more accurate translations or translations for the other two phrases, again, let me know. But there you go. We got the lock seed. And one thing about this lock seed is that it it doesn't open. This is all molded together. So putting this in the Sengoku driver does absolutely nothing because you can chop it. It does absolutely nothing. You can't open it, though. And you just get the typical opening lock seed noise. And, uh, yeah, putting it in the weapons, if you put it into our good buddy here, the Musso Seba, plug it in, close it up. That's how you get his connecting. That's the only sound effect you get out of it. And if you plug it into our other buddy here, if you plug it into the Sonic Arrow, which is the only time you actually used it was with the Sonic Arrow, okay. oh, the trigger doesn't do anything, you have to pull back. Okay, connecting with that power up attack. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah, that's it. Um, it doesn't do anything in the uh, Genesis driver either. It makes no noises in the Genesis driver. So, yeah, that's basically all it does. You just get some phrases and connecting go and the opening noise, and that's basically all you get with the slot seed. Still, nice to have something from the show. So. I have no problem with it, and again, it was free, it's not like I paid extra for this, so hey. I mean, this is going on Mandarake for like 20 25 bucks. I've seen it more expensive on eBay. Um, I don't know if I would pay that much, but, you know, it's basically how much uh, these DX lock seeds go for, which is like 20 25 dollars. So, if you really want it, if you want to be a kind of, you know, on-screen completist, you know, and this is a Loxy that was used on the show, so it's nice to have, but there you go. There you have the Sid Loxy, so we'll move this off to the side for now. Now we'll get down to the main event, the Matsubokuri and Kurumi Loxy. So we'll start off with the Matsubokuri Loxy right here. LSO1, nice, like, copperish paint going on there very very nicely done again nice bandai silver all the way around there is your typical loxy okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> but yeah turn it on and you get you get that and you push the button in the back get the crack opening You're starting the invest game You win. And then the crack closing. And of course you get a you lose, but again, that's randomized. So, there you go. You have your Matsubokuri lock seed for Kamen Rider Kurokage. Move this off to the side for now. Here you have the faceplate for Kurokage. Again, very simple. It's the side of the helmet. There's no real design outside. It's just the helmet itself. So, we'll bring in our good buddy right here. Oh yeah! It's that time again. So we will plug in the face plates, which does nothing. <laughs> Open it up, and we'll get down to it. So, Hishin! Matsubokuri! Plug it in. Close it up. I'm sorry, I have to do it, okay? I'm sorry. And slice! Yeah. 
And there you go. You have Henshin into Kamen Rider Kurokage. You have the open Loxy right there. Very nice design. On the bottom you have the spear weapon. It's very nice. I love the background design here too. It looks really, really cool. And of course you get your three attacks. So you slice once. Slice twice. And three times. And there you go. Again, I feel like with these exclusive lock seeds that the, the, the sound effects seem like they're rushing to get cut off a little too soon. I don't know. But um, there you have that. Now we will plug it in to our buddy here, the Muso Saber. Let me raise things up a bit. So we'll plug it in. Close it up. Pull the trigger. There you go, the big charge attack. <laughs> the voice actually drags it out a little too long, like it's, he's not even done before the sound effect goes off. I'm putting in gun mode. So, there we go, there we have the Matsubokuri Lock Seed, very cool, and now we'll bring in the Kurumi Lock Seed, the Lock Seed of Kamen Rider Knuckle of uh, Zaku, and they have LSO2, Got a nice paint, you get some nice gold going down the center right there, and again, your typical Lock Seed with the nice Bandai Silver and whatnot, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But turn it on, you get like a little guitar sting. And you get the same invest game noises. Crack opening. Battle start. I won! And close that crack up. There you go. And here you have the faceplate, which is blank! Yes, this lock seat actually has a blank faceplate, and it's you know, semi-transparent plastic there too. So yeah, these guys get the uh, the blank faceplates. So then we'll just remove this faceplate right here. Switch it out. It does change the noises in the driver, though. Hey, I didn't try to push that. So now we will open up the lock seat and Henshin! Kurumi! Kurumi! Oh yeah! What? Uh, uh. Oh yeah, baby! I'm sorry. Slice! Mr. Knuckleman, if you're nasty. So there you go, you have the Kurumi Loxid. You've now hinged into Common Rider Knuckle. There you have the opened Loxid. There you have his big boxing gloves of justice. And uh, yeah, there you have that. And of course, you have your three attacks. So slice once. Kurumi Slice twice. Yeah, three times. And there you go. 
This noise isn't mixing the driver. Lock off. And now we'll bring in our Musa Seba. I'll raise things up a bit so I have a good angle here. Plug it on. Close it up. Pull the trigger. They have the big charge attack. The Karumi power. power. Put in the gun mode. They have your Kurumi power. So there you go. And there you have it, people. There you have the Kurumi lock seed. Let me take this faceplate off here for the final thoughts. Yeah, there you go. Um, for right now, anyway, and I'm saying for right now. Uh, this is pretty much the last Lockseed review. Um, I believe the Matsubokori Energy Lockseed is coming out soon. So when I get that, I'll probably do a review on that. And there's some other exclusive ones like the uh, the Hellfruits, you know, Michi's uh, Hellfruit Lockseed. Um, I'll probably do a review on that when I get that. But I don't think that's not coming out until next year, early next year. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, as of now... Pretty much the, the last Lockseed review for now. Um, but still, very cool. Again, these were uh, Premium Bandai exclusives. So, again, don't know how readily available these will be if you're looking for them. Of course, there are Candy Toy and Geshapon versions of these Lockseeds. But if you want the DX ones, then you have to go the Premium Bandai route. And I don't know how much these are going for on the secondary market. But if you can get it for a good price, definitely worth it. Because I love the DX lock seeds. The inclusion of the bonus Sid lock seed, pretty cool. I wouldn't go out of my way and pay a crazy amount of money for this. 20 to 25 bucks, honestly, not a bad price for a DX lock seed, even though it doesn't really do a lot. It's still cool to have something from the show. Um, but definitely don't pay the eBay prices because I've seen this go for crazy amounts on eBay. Do not pay that. Um, Mandarake would be your best bet to get this. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> Mandarake would probably be the best bet for uh, getting this for a reasonable price if you really have to have it. So, But yeah, nice set. Like I said, for now anyway, the last Lockseed review um, until some other stuff comes out. But yeah, cool. Cool Lockseeds. I love it. Like I said, Gaim is over, but the toys just keep on coming. This bug, just get out of here. Get out of here, bug. See, a little bug just landed right right there. My God. Don't interrupt me when I'm trying to end the show. It's a vermin. How dare you. But anyway, bug interruptions aside, um, <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, yeah, guy may be over, but the toys are still going to be appearing on this channel because I still have... Uh, what? I still have... I'm done with all the roleplay stuff. Like I said, as of now, I'm done with lock seeds for now. Um, but still have arms change. Uh, figure arts. I might review the figure arts. I probably will because they are just gorgeous figures. So I probably will review the figure arts. Um, but yeah, it's still going to be a lot of game happening on this channel. As well as drive. I got a lot of drive stuff too. So there'll be some good common writer stuff coming your way. As, as well as some past common writer stuff. I got some Forza reviews. Uh... What, uh, Forza, uh, Wizard, and all that good stuff. I got a Axle Driver on the way, so I'll probably review all that stuff, too. So there'll be some good Kamen Rider stuff on the way on this channel, but there we go. I think we're done for now, so remember to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Kamen Rider Gaim DX Matsubokori and Karumi Lock Seeds with the bonus Sid Lock Seed. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Palm in your face.